Hey guys, it's Seth here, and um, today I'm gonna show you something that um, I don't know how many people know that you can do this. I probably have a lot of people actually, but I don't know. So, like in in Minecraft, did you ever want to build something like this, or maybe even well, the R one's gone. God dang it! But did you ever want to build something like this? Um, well, not necessarily build it, but you can make it in a matter of minutes, um, with the programs I'm going to show you, and, um, they're completely safe and free, they're on the Minecraft forums, and, um, these chunks won't load. There you go. See? Epic. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you guys how to make something like this, um, in your Minecraft world, so, um... The download links to the two programs you're gonna need are gonna be in the description. And um let's let's get out of Minecraft. Alright. So the two programs you are going to get are going to be that's that that or is it wait? No way it's in here. The two programs you're gonna get are MC Edit and Sprite um Spritecraft full. Make sure you get the full version of this. You don't have to pay any money. Um but they do want you to donate. Um, I can't donate because I don't have um, I don't have a credit card or anything. But yeah. Um, so what what you're gonna do is what, you're gonna open this thing called Spritecraft first. So you're gonna you can't open it with Seven Zip. You have to right click, go to Open with, um, choose Default Program. It's right here. But I'll show you guys how to get to it anyway. Um, don't click this. Um, so you're gonna go to Browse. You're gonna go to Java, gonna go here, you're gonna go to bin, and then you're gonna click Java W, and that will open it at any point. It should. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Um, and this is Spritecraft. Um, what Spritecraft does is it, like, changes any image you put in it into, like, a Minecraft blueprint kind of thing. Now, if you have a slow computer, I do not recommend checking these. Um, I don't know if this will, will like cut off the picture or just shrink it or whatever, but um, I think it'll just just shrink it. But I'm going to keep these checked because I have a pretty decent computer. So let's go browse, look for an image. Um, so let's go to. I'm just gonna. What image can I use? Um, I'm just gonna use my, uh, the avatar thing, um, let's go to my pictures, and avatar body one, so, here's, here's my little Xbox avatar guy, create Minecraft blueprint, and, um, this is the avatar guy, as you can see he's made of Minecraft blocks now, um, Wait, I forgot to tell you guys what I do not recommend doing is going... Okay, one second. I actually have to save this first. So, um, what you're going to want to do is you can save image um, if you want to. But in order to get into Minecraft, you're going to want to save Skinematic. And just name it as whatever you want. I'll just name it um, D because I've been just naming them in order of um, letters. I guess the alphabet, I don't know. And then you're going to close it. The, the, all this stuff just tells you how many... Um, how many blocks were used in using this? So like, there were f over four thousand um, black wool, seventy-seven blue. This is why I would recommend if you have a slow computer using um, unchecking these boxes. Um, so yeah, just because of this. So yeah. Um, so what I don't recommend doing is going to options and clicking on at all of these. I just recommend using the default. Um, you can change the texture pack if you want to. If you're using a different texture pack, you just go browse and then choose a texture pack. But, um, I don't know if I still have the pictures, but, um, if I do, I can show you what, I can show you, like, a side-by-side -side comparison. But you're gonna close out Spritecraft. Um, I don't think I still have the pictures anymore. But, um, is this it? No, okay, this, this is the, um, so... I don't know if these are the same pictures. I don't know. These aren't the same pictures. So, yeah. Um, so, here's what it looks like um, 
without everything checked, and here's what he looks like with everything. I mean, um, vice versa. This is what he looks like without everything checked. This is what he looks like with everything checked. So as you can see, it's kind of easier to um to see the blocks when you have everything checked. Like you can tell those are diamond blocks over there. Um, nothing really blends in well. As you can see, it's much better on the other one. So that's why I do not recommend ch um checking all of the boxes. It will not make it look better whatsoever. So then you're gonna after that you're going to open MC Ad. Now in order to do this, you're gonna have to right click and create a new folder. And um you're just going to double click this and click and drag everything into the new folder. I've already done this though. Um make sure it's in a folder or else um all of the changes are going to be in files on your desktop. So yeah. Um now I just need to find the folder that was in. Oh god, I, I don't know what fold it was in. Oh great. I have so many folders, it's gonna take forever. Great. Oh, I'll just drag him into the new folder then, um... Whatever. So, double quick, make sure it opens with 7-zip. This is why I did not, um, this is why I did have you guys check the box that made the default program or else you're gonna have to use um or else you're gonna have to go back and find 7-zip again but yeah you're just gonna drag everything in the new folder that you created and then you're just going to open um <clears throat> I'm sorry I just woke up a little bit ago my throat isn't feeling really good but then you're gonna double click on this MC edit you'll see this black box come up don't worry about that um and it'll open MC edit if it'll load and then you'll get this warning, make sure Minecraft game is closed, my, my Minecraft game isn't open. So then you're going to click OK. And then you're going to load world, and then you're going to load whatever world you want to put your image in. So, um, or you can create a new world, but I really don't know how to do that too much. So, um, let's just go into this world, which had the other avatar body somewhere. I don't know exactly where it was. Oh, here it is. So, um... Let's create him. Um, where should we create him? Oh, yeah, that's the um, that's the other one I made. Um, yeah, it just shows you the power of MC Edit and um, Spitecraft. Um, I'll show you guys that later when I'm in the game. It rolls my FPS to like um, eight frames per second. though when I'm looking at it. So, yeah, again, slow computer don't have our max size. So you're gonna go import um, and then you're gonna choose the skinematic you um, made in um, Spitecraft. So mine was named D so I will double click on this and then you'll get this which is the image. Um, now um, in order to move it you're just gonna move um, your mouse up or down. That, that will move the image. Now I want to um, flip I don't know exactly what that does. I don't exactly know what flip does. Um, I think it... Eh, I don't know. Um, crap, I may have screwed something up, actually. So, let me do that again, because... Um, and if you do screw, do screw something up, just hit escape. Let me just open this again. And you're going to click on it. And um, then if you just want to move it into, like, the... Uh, like close to the ground you're just gonna um drag it down just click on it drag it down until it hits, touches the ground like that and um but just to show you guys that um it can be like anywhere i'm just gonna move it like in the hours out of space uh actually i don't know because it might reach the the height limit i'll just keep on the ground um and then you're gonna click import and then it will load and as you can see, it's in there. It's in there. It is only a, um, I think it's a 1D image. Pretty sure, but, um, yeah. So then, um, you're just gonna deselect. And, um, if you want to select it again, you're just gonna go to, you're just gonna go to the corner. And then, just make a big box and it'll select it. I'm not gonna do that, though, because I don't really want to mess with it. And I really haven't done that too much. So, I'm um, just deselect. And then you're gonna click control, and then you there's gonna be a thing that says save. So control S is save. You can just click on it, just hit control S, and I'll do this. 
Um, I don't know how fast or slow will go for you guys. It might go kind of slow, but um, yeah, now everything's saved. So now we can hit Alt F1, now close out of it. And now we're going to open Minecraft again. Log in. Mojang. Let me expand this. And let's go to high. And then, um, as you can see, he um, is in the game now. He was not here before, but now he is here. Um, it, it will take a while for him to load up. I definitely recommend using Optifine whenever you're using this, though. And um, if I can find that little heavy rain thing just to show you guys. Yeah, see, that is the heavy rain thing. Um, yeah. Um, it takes a long time for it to load up. I think it used, like, um, a hundred thousand, um, brown wool. So, yeah, this is a pretty big image. Um, it actually, um, the, the image itself went over the, um, the height limit. Like, as you, if I fly up and it will load. At least I think it did, but it got cut off at some point. I don't know if that's the image or what. But, um... Actually, this might be able to go over height limit. Um, I don't know if it does go over height limit. I don't know the exact height limit, but yeah, here is the total height of this image. Um, just to show you guys, um, I think the image might have actually got cut off, but yeah, so there's the avatar body, and here is the heavy rain thing. Um, it, this goes to, um, well, you can see the y-axis. That's the y-axis is height. Um, so then let's just back up here. And there is the little origami figure from Heavy Rain. So there you go. Um, so yeah, guys, that's SpriteCraft and MC Edit. You can do this with any picture you want to. And then, I mean, just looking at a little bit of it, you can see all of the wax spikes I'm getting and the frame drop. Yeah, frame drop. But um, yeah, let's just back up a little bit. Let's change it to daytime, too. Yeah, um... When this is all loaded up, I get, like, huge lag spikes, but, um, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this, um, this little, um, thing, I hope, um, this helped you guys, helped you guys if you're, like, doing a, um, a Minecraft server or something and you want to put, like, giant, like, statues of Mario or you in it, um, but, um, yeah, guys, remember to, um, if this was helpful to you, make sure to leave a like and a comment and possibly even subscribe. That would be awesome. But, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, my name is Seth00015, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.